Folks, I had a uh, subscriber ask this question. He was watching one of my videos about uh, how to use the Lumetri color grading in Premiere Pro CC 2015. He says, question, if you want to reset the curves, hue, saturation, color wheels, panels back to default, what do you do in that case? And so there's a couple ways you can do this. There's, as, in, as is, there is in all Premiere stuff, there's multiple ways of doing different things. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the easiest way. I have here a bit of video. This is a mud run. These ladies here were just finishing up their mud run. So I've got a lot of mud run video. Let's say I wanted to um, edit the color using the Lumetri. You know, you go up here under color up here on top. Let's go ahead and just make a color edit to this. And let's say that maybe the exposure was too much. I'm going to expose it, bring it back a little bit, but I'm going to pull the shadows up. Uh, the temperature might be a little, need to be a little bit more warm or something. I don't know. He's asking about curves and stuff like that. So let's say we wanted to rotate the color wheel a little bit or something here, right? Change hue or saturation a little more, a little less. Uh, we want to edit the greens or something. I don't know. I'm just going to do a few things here. I don't like that. I don't like the way that looks, but oversaturated. But back to the, the point here is how do you reset these? So do we see a reset thing over here? Basically, I don't know that we do. So we turn this on or off here. We can turn it off. Looks like basically you could just reset that way, can't you? Uh, but no, really, it doesn't do that, does it? It just turns it off, see? So we do have a reset here, and that looks like that brings it sort of back. But still, we've got this temperature here that didn't get reset, did it? So that's odd. Let's go back down here to curves and look again. Did our curves change? Uh, let's change something here with the curves. Taking those reds out. And let's see, do we have a reset here? No, it doesn't. So I'm, what I'm trying to do here, I show is, is that, let's, let's go back to basic correction, reset, turn it back on, reset. Did that do anything back here with the curves? No, we still got that. So the question is how to reset all of it. I was just trying to exhaust the possibilities here before I show you the way I really do it uh, because there are, there's a way that I like to do it to reset everything. And what it is is, so this is just your color. This is how you set your colors and everything, right? So let's go back and do just a little bit of uh, something here. Let's change some contrast. Let's take some highlights out or let's drop the shadows back, lights up, I don't care. I'm just trying to come up with anything that's different, right? But when you get back to actually editing these clips, you usually go back into editing. Now I've got mine set up for CS 5.5. You don't have to do that, but that's, uh, that's the environment I like to edit in. And so the way you do that is you go over here to your Lumetri, Lumetri, right? And you have this reset effect here. Boom. That takes you back to the original. I can do a Command Z or Control Z on the Mac or on a PC, and I can take it, toggle it back and forth on and off. But so here you go. That's how you reset everything. And so I'm, like, I'm not going to reset. Let's say I just want to see what it looks like without it. Then I've got the FX button here. I click that. And then it, I can toggle it back and forth on and off. But there you go. And that's how I would uh, would do that sort of thing. If I wanted to edit video uh, and turn the effects on or off or fully reset. So I know it looks like it's a little bit clunky. Maybe there's a more elegant way to do that and someone might share that with us. Let's turn it back on. But that's how I typically reset stuff like Lumetri Color. And then if I want to go back in and do the same things I was doing in the color, I can do that all, in, all within here. I just think it's easier to go back to color again and start over. And yeah, so maybe if I really wanted to fix this, I would uh, up the contrast a little. I would maybe I would underexpose it just a little bit. And I might pull the shadows up. And yeah, I do kind of what I started with there a while ago. Maybe even go to the saturation just a little more. And there you go. I've got a look that I like. And you go back over here to fix it. And there you are. You can talk with on or off. Peace to all who watch. Hope you enjoyed that. And it's helpful to someone. Subscribe if you like.